Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is The Connected Conduit. I'm getting a message for you. I'm hearing a song and it's, I'm not sure who sings it, but it goes, if I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. No, it's got to be you. Oh, I don't know who sings it, but yeah, if I can't have you, I don't want nobody. It's got to be you, Divine Feminine. The song is off of a dance mix CD. <laughs> I think it's Dance Mix 94, okay? I actually still have CDs and I, yes, I actually still play them in my car. So that was just playing and it hit me like, oh my gosh, this is resonant, okay? Girl, it's got to be you. If I can't have you. I don't want nobody, baby. Girl, it's got to be you. King of Cups, somebody is in love with you. In love with you. Head of her heels in love with you. And if you look at this card, like this dragon or serpent or whatever it is, is laser focused, dead set, committed, committed to whatever they're looking at. Girl, it's got to be you. I have eyes for you and only you. I see you and only you. Laser beam focus here. There's almost, I don't want to say a menacing vibe, but hungry. Hungry is the best way I can describe it. They're thirsty for you. They're hungry for you. They want you. They want you bad. Girl, it's got to be you. I've got my... My sights and my horns <laughs> set on you. Whoa, what flew out? The page of coins. Aw, that's a sweet card. They see you as someone who's playful, innocent, fun. That's what I'm getting from this. They also have an offer for you. That horn was confirmation. They have an offer. Girl, it's gotta be you. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> this is your energy. I don't know, like maybe you're mad because she looks mad in this card. You could be really upset at your masculine at this time. You could be in this energy of like, don't come near me. Don't come and knock in. Don't text me. Don't call me. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm moving on. And they're like, uh, I'm not going anywhere. It's interesting. It's such a weird energy I'm picking up on. How do I describe this? It's like there's tension. There is sexual tension here, okay? Like big time. It's like in those movies where the protagonists, they they fight. They meet each other and the guy like, you know, ticks the girl off and the girl is like, ah, oh, you're so annoying. Ah, oh, get away from me. And the guy's like, ooh, I like that you're mad. <laughs> you're sexy when you're mad. I like it. And there's this tension, right? It's like they don't get along, they argue, they don't see eye to eye. It's kind of like the proposal, you know? It's kind of like that vibe with um, Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. Hilarious movie, awesome movie. But yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> like a weird butting of heads here. And so the King of Cups is like, I want you and I'm coming for you. And you're like, no. <laughs> If you come over here, I will serve you up for dinner. I will fry you in my pan and I will eat you. <laughs> and your masculine's like, challenge accepted. I like it when you're feisty. So the more you have your boundaries up, the more you push them away, the more intrigued and turned on they are by you. Honestly, that is the energy that I'm picking up on here. Like, ooh, I like it when you get mad. Ooh. <laughs> Girl, it's got to be you. What's this offer?
Oh, I should have said it. Dang it. Darn it. That would have been so good. You guys, I was getting, um, ain't no sunshine when she's gone alone. Only darkness when she's away. It's Bill Withers. Ain't no sunshine. And then the sun card came out. Dang it. Darn it. Should have said it. Anyways, ain't no sunshine when you're gone. So if you guys have been in separation, which most of you watching have been, um, whether that's a few days, weeks, months, they want to come back in because when you're gone, their skies are gray. They miss you. They miss you, okay? Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Whatever this offer is, it's going to make you really happy. Really, really happy. And it's going to reveal a lot of hidden truths and give you clarity. It's going to give you clarity over this situation. And I also feel, Queen of Swords, that it's going to melt your heart. It's going to warm your heart. If you've been feeling some negative energy towards this person or towards your masculine, they're coming in to turn the beat around. Now I'm getting that song. Turn the beat around. Something, something, passion. Turn it upside down. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Okay. Turn the beat around. The tower. This person's coming in and it's going to shock you. Whatever they are offering you here is going to make you really happy and it's going to shock you in a good way. We have the magician on the bottom of the deck. This is a dream come true. It's like your spirit guides or your fairy godmothers like, ta-da! <laughs> ta-da! Your spirit guides can see this coming in, right? Because spirit can always see a little ways into the future. They don't they don't have the ability to see years and years and years down the line because everybody has free will. So anything could happen at any moment. But your spirit guides know up to about six months ahead of the game, right? Sometimes even a little bit farther. But they know that this is coming in for you. And they're like, get ready. The beat's about to be turned around here. Oh, we have the king of coins. The King of Pentacles, stability, loyalty, generosity, something about tea. <laughs> Maybe you guys like tea because I keep saying words that end with tea and it seems significant. Maybe your name starts with a T or your person's name starts with a T. Take it how it resonates. They want to commit, okay? This is an offer to commit. All right, what do they want to say to you from the heart space right now other than um, only you? It's, it's you and only you. Only you will do and no one else. If I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. Girl, it's got to be you. You're the real thing. You're the real thing. I've been waiting for so long for the good thing to come along. Okay, they've been waiting for you to come along. And now that you're here, they're not going to let you go. See, we have the magician coming out. If I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. Okay, you are who I manifested. You're what I want. You're exactly what I've been manifesting and then some. They find you magical. They find you magical, enchanting, intriguing, inspiring. Your powers amaze them. They are bewildered by your abilities and not only your abilities, but like your mindset and the way that you go after life. You just, you just do it, Divine Feminine. You know what I mean? You just go out there and you do it. Yeah, the Six of Wands, exactly. You just go out there and you slay. You succeed at whatever you do. They really admire this about you. They look up to you. 
you're about okay this this relationship is about to go to the next level okay you guys are having some sort of promotion when it comes to your connection here they also want this to work they they want this to be successful they've put you on some sort of a pedestal here and they only want you and only you you're a warrior you are a warrior divine feminine and they love this about you you've got such a strong spirit and a zest for life and nothing can keep you down you've been through so much and yet you're still so amazing you're so joyful and tender you haven't let the difficulties of life turn you into a bitter cold harsh person even though we do have the queen of swords here this is not your natural energy this i feel is a flash in the pan look at how your energy is towards your masculine right now because well let's see why why are you like this towards your your masculine because to everyone else you're like this you're warm inviting but to your masculine you're like hmm stern maybe a bit cold your cutoff game is Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a twin flame card. It's a card of union, celebration, marriage, coming together, laying down a solid foundation. Hmm. Okay, so for some of you, actually, this is your masculine's energy being very clear on who they want and what they want. And it's you because they want union with you. And for others of you, this is your energy. And you may have set really good boundaries with your masculine. And there, it was like, unless we're going to be together and you see me as your one and only, then we're not going, this isn't going to work. I want stability. I want true love. And you've got to show up. And show out for me in that way otherwise it's not gonna work so some of you may have even been hurt from a past relationship and it could have been someone that you were married to or in a long-term commitment with and recently you know you've been healing from that and when the Queen of Swords often represents a wounded woman, right? Someone who's divorced and they've been through it. And so they're wary. They're wary of other connections, wary of men. The Queen of Swords is on the defense because she's been hurt and she doesn't want to be hurt again. But Spirit's saying you don't have to be that way because this person wants union with, with you. They see you and only you. The Three of Cups. Ooh, okay, so this person could have put you in a third party situation, or you could have been worrying or fearful that your person had other people on the side or were was entertaining other people. And um, you're like, no, no, not getting involved there. Yeah, because <laughs> it shows three women in this card, right? And you're thinking, no, like, you're still out there dating, getting around, and I'm not into that. You have to see me and only me. Do you see in this card how he is looking at only one woman? And it's you, right? That's what you want. You want the person you're with to see you and only you. They, you want your person to only have eyes for you, to be head over heels in love with you. And if somebody's coming at you and they're still entertaining other people, still dating, keeping side pieces, keeping other people on the hook just in case you, your relationship falls through, like, no, none of that. And for many of you, this is your person going, it is you. It is you and only you that I see. And the other people... I've let go of. Let's get a card on this three of three of cups. It's a loud truck. It's a weird sound. It sounds like they're dragging something.
oh, I think it's a little car, you know, one of those little remote control cars. The nine of coins. If they were in a third party, they're single. They're absolutely single. Single and ready to mingle. Yeah, justice. There could have been a divorce here. But this to me is also saying that your masculine wants to do right by you. They want to make you trust them and do right by you. Okay, so what can you expect next? What can you expect next from your masculine? Justice, communication, truth, honor, doing the right thing. Balancing the scales. So what does doing the right thing look for this masculine? What does that mean, spirit? Can you show us? Now I'm getting, imagine me and you. I do. I dream about it day and night. It's only right to think about the one you love and hold them tight. So happy together. Seven of Wands. Working hard, fighting for your connection, not giving up on it, persevering, pushing through. This is John Henry. And he basically tries to put in this train track all by himself, working day and night, night and day. And he doesn't give up. He perseveres. He basically works until he dies. <laughs> That's basically the the myth, the story, or whatever, the legend. But he does it for his people. He does it for the, the greatest and highest good of all. So... I feel like going to the guidebook for that. I don't know. Spirit's just saying, go to the guidebook. Okay, fine. I will. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's John Henry, Alabama, American folktale. So the Seven of Wands represents an indomitable, indomitable, indomitable there it is indomitable force against all odds john henry stands up for what he believes in and is willing to fight to the bitter end his courage and resolve is an inspiration even to those who disagree with him so it's about endurance fighting for beliefs perseverance right so yeah, exactly. They're going to fight for this. They want to endure. They're not going to give up. They're going to fight for what who they believe in and what they believe in. And it's you. They're going to do the right thing and they're not going to give up. What is the masculine doing in order to fight for this connection? What kind of actions are they doing right now? Can you illustrate the fight? That the masculine is putting up right now not against you divine feminine but just in terms of not giving up on your connection judgment Ooh, they're rising in vibration they're answering the call of their soul they're making a major choice and they're changing their life on a huge scale judgment is a major major energy like when judgment comes out it means that your life will never look the same again. It's transformative energy, completely transformative. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers, which is beauty and the beast. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and the beast. Aww. This is how they see you. And sometimes they've looked at themselves and gone, I'm such a monster. Why would someone so beautiful and innocent and wonderful ever want me with my past and my darkness and the things that I've done and the things that I've said? And this is something your masculine has had to overcome. They've had to learn how to f forgive themselves. 
and have kindness and compassion towards the past versions of themselves as well. And realize yeah, that, yeah, they are worthy. They are worthy of a love. It's really sweet. Okay, so this is what I have for you. I mean, your person is like you and only you. And you're like, mm, come correct. You demand respect. You command respect. And anyone who doesn't meet your standards, you easily detach from, very easily, Divine Feminine. So, and your masculine knows this. So they've been working on, on themselves. <laughs> Spirit's saying that this King of Coins... It shows a turtle or a tortoise with a hard shell. And if you look, this tortoise looks a little bit frightened. And Spirit's like, yeah, this is how they're going to come in. A little bit unsure, kind of side-eyeing you. But they also have their shell out. Like, So if you decide to bring the hammer down on them, they're going to be protected. If you bring the, the sword down, they're going to have their shell on a little bit. Okay, so... They may come in a little like tentatively. They may just dip their toe in. They may be a little bit nervous at first. It's, it's almost like they're ready to receive a hard no. They're almost ready for you to bring down your sword metaphorically, right? And be like, no. <laughs> so they're bracing for the worst, but they're hopeful. They're hopeful. They're trying to stay positive that they can make this right because honestly divine feminine it's got to be you it's you and only you and you guys are like i don't know you've got this interesting tension that has been building i don't know maybe you guys have been bickering or going back and forth banter i don't feel like it's been toxic i don't feel like it's anything like that it's just I think you put your masculine in their place and they love it. <laughs> I'm hearing a masculine go, ooh, I love it when you get angry. <laughs> I don't know why. That's just what I'm hearing. So maybe you have a bit of a temper. My whole life got turned upside down after we met. So much has changed since we last spoke. Yeah, we have the tower out here. There has been massive, major upheaval and revelations. Life-changing. I'm trying to distract myself by throwing all my energy into work. I feel that's you, Divine Feminine. I feel that's you. Trying to pull away, detach. I need to see you again. I have something to tell you. Yep, they do. They do have something to tell you and it's going to shock you. And it's about commitment. I'm very unhappy in my current life. I want to make changes. I want to be with you. Yeah. Yeah. You're not giving up on this. I'm floored. You made a prediction or said something and it came true. How did you know that? Your powers leave them speechless. They might they might find if you have intuitive or psychic psychic abilities, they might find that very um intimidating and daunting because it's like, oh my gosh, how much does Divine Feminine know? Is she able to read my mind? Right? And they could feel a little bit nervous. Like, how many secrets does she know? <laughs> I don't want to lose you. I'll do anything for you. I would do anything for love. And I will do that. Okay, I'm breaking free from karmic contracts. Fear, worry, doubt, and low vibe energies. Yay! Good job, masculine. They're having a bit... Oops, something fell in on the floor. They're having a victory over karmic energies. <gasps> Look what fell out. 
I've told the karmic that I'm in love with you, that I've chosen someone else. I've chosen you. My heart belongs to you. The karmic is livid, but I'm taking care of it. Whoa, there's judgment, right? See, this is what they're doing. They're making some sort of huge life change that proves their love for you. It's you and only you. It's got to be you and I will show you. Okay, so if they're in a connection, that connection's done and they're actually taking action on leaving that situation and breaking up with that person or whatever it is, right? Because it's got to be you. They're no longer entertaining a third party or other people. And they want union with you. I'm hearing, I dream of a life with you. I dream of a life with you. It's eating me up inside. I need to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, your masculine is bringing you a solid, stable offer. They want to ground this connection here. And they're going to fight for this. They're not going to give up. They believe in you. I'm hearing, I believe in us. I believe in us. And I'm not giving up. Girl, it's got to be you. I don't want nobody, baby. If I can't have you. If I can't have you, I don't want anybody. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out. I would absolutely love to have you. And I would appreciate that so very, very much. All right, you guys. All the good vibes. Stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned and all the best on your journey. Bye.